भव स्वाहा तत्सवितो वारिनियम भरगोति वास्या दिमाहि धियो योना प्रचोदया Got the coins, the beauty, got the purple satin. Lady and she stole me like I'm never coming back. Protected by the purple rays that shine so bright, they can't do it all. Standing tall and down right, the purple sun they got their way. Original and true, they won't be led astray. Copycats will try, but you know they never win. They hate they spread the purple sun will burn, burn. I'm a Capricorn, can't you see? A force of nature, wild and free I'm in my element, on top of my game No one can match me, I break the chain Copycats want the throne, but they can't even climb They try to imitate, but I'm one of the kind Black magic won't work, cause I'm too bad I'm a Capricorn, nothing can contain I'm a Capricorn, can't you see? A force of nature, wild and free I'm in my element on top of my game No one can match me, I break the chain Capricorns, it is your XOXO goddess girl Well, hello there Good to see you here again, everybody Listen, the other reading was, of course, quite spiritual, everybody Yes, and uh, we also want some practical daily right, messages So, you know what? I thought... Let me do another reading. I have also, everybody, eaten. I did not cook, okay? I did not have to cook because my uh, African god, he brought me African food. So I have eaten African food, yes? Um, uh, yeah, so I don't need to cook, yes? So because I'm getting spoiled, I'm spoiling you too. Hey, 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 spiritually got a one for four tarot. Go check out that cutie. Okay, that hardy, hardy, hardy. Yes. Uh, Capricorns, what are we going to do? I'm going to do two things. Okay, in one, which is um, the person in your heart. Uh, at the end, everybody, I'm going to do new laugh. Three scenarios that you can pick. You can pick a number then, right? And first, I'm going to do all scenarios. Okay, so I'm going to do finance, career, education, health, love, spirituality, sexuality, sensuality. And you know what? Let's do food too. Beauty and food. Shall we do that too? Yeah. <laughs> Let's include food. <clears throat> Let's do your food reading too. Mr. and Mrs. Capricorn. Shall we do that? Are you approving this, Mr. and Mrs. Capricorn? The genius goat, money-making gods and goddesses. Yeah, let's do that. So here we go. I'm giving it a good shuffle right now. Holy Spirit, God. Our Father in Heaven, the Lord, angels, ancestors, the beautiful dragon. Please come in with beautiful messages regarding things that Capricorn needs to know. Okay, let's see what we have. Here we go. Let's shovel everybody. Yes, we're going to end with food for my foodies. For my foodies. Let's do food too. Yeah? Let's see what we have for you. Okay, here we go, everybody. I'm giving it a final shovel here. And now I'm going to split the deck, not the dick. <laughs> I'm gonna split the deck. Jesus Christ. Who's splitting the dick? Is somebody out there splitting the dick? Yeah, what do you have for dinner? Oh, you know, just split dick. <laughs> what is this? Capricorns, Capricorns, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's split the deck. Let's be serious, everybody. Come on. Everybody says that Capricorn is serious. We're always that serious, right? Everybody always says Capricorn are so serious, right? Stop laughing in the chat. We can't laugh that much together, everybody. Stop, stop it. We need to make sure that people still believe that we are that serious. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to split the deck. Jesus, right? This is not going to be a spiritual reading. 
If you haven't seen your spiritual reading yet, everybody, go check out the live section. The reading before this reading, that is your spiritual reading. You're going to love it. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, we have a seven of wands. Are you splitting the dick here? What are you doing? We. Here we go, everybody. Yes, finance, career, education, health, love, spirituality, sexuality, sensuality, beauty, and food. Food, you have a two of ones, right? Somebody is cooking dinner for you. Somebody is buying you dinner. Somebody says, Capricorn, I got you some lovely cooked food here, okay? They're saying, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, let's share it together, baby. This is also eating out of one uh, plate, right? Drinking out of one glass, right? I love it. It reminds me of my auntie. Uh, she is a Capricorn. She is she, she is a Capricorn, okay? Jesus, you don't mess around with her. Her name is Asma. She's my auntie. And uh, she was married to my uncle. And he's a Pisces. And uh, they always drank out, everybody, of one glass. Always. I found it such a beautiful ritual between the two of them, right? They drank out of one glass, always, always. So maybe that's your message, okay? Uh, others of you, of course, this is a luxurious dinner, okay? T dinner for two, dinner for three, four, five, six, seven, whatever, right? But you're going to have a good time here. The two of ones in this case is also finding new places. Like, hey, I heard about that place. Shall we go there? Oh, I didn't even know about that place, right? So this is also doing some research on food, okay? Why are we starting with food, by the way? <laughs> Listen, from now onwards, we have food, okay, also, yeah? After beauty, we do food. First beauty, and then we do food, right? Okay? So we have a lot of cards here on the table, yes. Let's see. Let me take a sip of my coffee. Bear with me, everybody. Bear with me. Mm. Okay, here we go. The zodiac signs that I see here, everybody, that um, you're either with, you have it in your birth chart, or if you're not together, this person is definitely still busy with you, body, mind, and soul. I have Leo. I have Taurus. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Gemini. By the way, I have two times the two of ones here, everybody. Also in your own section. Yeah, in your love section. Look at you. For loads of you, somebody's cooking for you. Somebody's getting you food. Look, told you. I'm shuffling on screen, right? So, you know, right? So, uh, by the way, Aries, of course, right? And Aries again in the food section, of course. Eh? Aries. And then we have Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, and again, Aries, yeah? You have it in your chart or you're dealing with one, okay? Um, let's see what we have here for you beautiful Capricorns. Let's see, okay? Let's see in the middle. Let's go to the middle. What's in the middle here? What is in the middle here? In the middle, please. Overall energy. Oh, in the middle? Aries. <laughs> Three points. <laughs> Aries is saying, listen, everybody, I'm going to be your finest career, education, health, love, spirituality, okay, sexuality, sensuality, beauty, beauty and food, and I'm going to be the overall energy. Everything is about me. Aries says, make everything about me. Maybe there's an Aries coming into your life. Others of you, you have Aries in your chart. If you have Aries in your chart, everybody, this is, of course, fini, fidi, fici. I came, I saw, and I conquered, right? So uh, you already did that. You are about to do that. You even have, let me see, in your uh, sensuality, you have the king of pentacles. Some of you, of course, using your charms, right? You know how it goes, right? You have a meeting, right? Doesn't mean that you put your titties on the floor or on the, you know, on the, on the table or uh, on the, you know, whiteboard or whatever you're doing with your titties, right? That is not the message here, of course, right? It doesn't mean that you dress like, uh, you know, somebody that has no clothes on. Of course not. But it does mean that you know how a feminine touch, right, can make a business go in a certain way as it is in your favor. Now, guess what? The brothers, you can do that too, right? You know you can. So you're using your sensuality also business-wise. So the way you dress yourself, the way you speak, right, you know exactly who is on the opposite uh, side of the table, right? Wherever this negotiation or business is about, you're using your sensuality. King of Pentacles here. Others of you, you're in a relationship. You are proud, right, to carry all your aware all your rings right 
You're like, yeah, I am married. I'm in a relationship. I'm going to wear all the rings that she or he bought for me, right? So sensuality here is about acknowledging yourself. Love is about acknowledging yourself. Your overall energy is about moving forward, progressing, like GDT always says, right? Hey, Mr. Capricorn and Mrs. Capricorn, right? You are progressing. Yes, you are. By the way, let me take a sip here. Bear with me with my coffee. Mm. Mm. I love my coffee. Okay. Now, everybody, let's start going into details. Are you ready? Because there are a lot of ones here. Okay. So, uh, like I said, lots of Aries is here, Leo and Sagittarius. So, fire is here. This whole spread is, is, is about uh, fire. Use your fire energy in the most beneficial way for yourself. Yeah. Now, fire is, of course, right. You can uh, make a beautiful bonfire in the forest, right? But you don't want to put the forest on fire, right? And that's the message here, Capricorns. That's um, With the seven of wands in your finance section, uh, you're being passionate about something, okay? And you're, by the way, saying, listen, this is my money. This is my money. I don't know who you are. Yes, you're saying to all these people, like Shirley uh, said, right? God is Shirley. You're saying to all of them, look, what's your purpose? You're saying to all these people, what is your purpose? What is your purpose of being here in my finance section? Because you're saying to all these people, listen, if you want to know what your purpose is, I'm about to tell you what your purpose is, you say. You're going to like it. You might not like it, you're saying, but you're going to know. You're going to know. By the way, let me put on a little bit more light here. And then there was light. Bear with me. Can I do this? I don't know what this thing is. Okay, bear with me. Can I do a... I can a whoop whoop. Can I get a whoop whoop? Oh, no, it's only up. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. Oh, which one do you like? Say stop. Say stop. The first one I see who says stop, I'll stop it. Hello. Uh, okay, Molidia, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. I'm like, tech, 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 tech. This ain't no ASMR tarot reading, okay? Tech, 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 tech. Maybe you're into Tekken. Tekken, Tekken, Tekken. Hey, let me be frank. Hey. Teka, 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 teka. Go, teko, 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 teka. Anang, 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 go, teka. That's for the Maluku people. You know the song. Others of you, you play some Tekken, right? You play Tekken. Maybe you're really into martial arts, right? The energy here of the Seven of Wands in your finance section is you saying to other people, what is your purpose? You're saying this is my domain, my periphery, my finance. Right, move away, you're saying. So, uh, yeah, it looks like you are very protective about your financial situation, as you should, right? Because finance, everybody, money is important for a Capricorn. Why? Because we then have security stability. When you see a Capricorn smiling, you know, bank account is doing good. <laughs> when you hear a Capricorn laughing, you know, the bank account is really good, right? When you hear a fake Capricorn laughing, you know they're poor, right? When they want to mimic your laugh, right? When they want to mimic you, you know they're poor, right? Seven of Wands is good energy for you, okay? Really good energy. There might be a dispute, okay? But look, you're on top here, right? So there could be a dispute here regarding your money. Listen, I don't know, okay? Maybe you're giving your boss a whipping. <laughs> hey, listen, Capricorn, settle down, okay? Settle down, just settle down, okay? Yes. A Seven of Wands here. A Seven of Wands in your finance section with your boss yes don't whip your boss okay yes or your employer or whoever this is maybe it's even your uh, your client okay you're whipping them because they're not listening to you or maybe they owe you money maybe your boss is not gonna you know give you a bonus promotion raise don't whip them yes and i know you do a good whipping i know you do 
but don't do it in your finest section, okay? Yes? Because you got that whip appeal. I know you do Capricorn. No one does it like you. And no, no, no one. Right? Beautiful song. But the boss goes like, ow, ow, ow. The employees, the customers go like, ow, ow. And you're singing, bam, bam, bam with the whip, right? You've got that whip appeal, right? Baby face. You're putting some baby face on while you're whipping people here. Well, that's Capricorn, your style, right? It's what we do, right? But in this case, settle down, okay, Capricorns. Whatever this is, it is yours anyhow. Um, because the seven of wands, everybody, comes after a six of wands, right? So settle down. It's yours, whatever this is. It's yours, right? I don't know. Maybe somebody has some opinion or something like that. Whatever, right? They don't have your bank account statement. They still don't have it, right? They will never have it. So uh, now you have in your career, you have a six of pentacles. So you're getting something here. You're being, be, you are given something here. Others of you, you're helping somebody out at your job who is not good, or you are a trainer and you're dealing with trainees. You could also be a coach. You're dealing with coaches. You're leading something here at your uh, career, at your work, okay? Uh, and others of you, these are, you know, you're a buddy. This is like people don't know what to do. They need to find a way in the organization. Uh, you're doing that. You're leading here. You're leading, okay? Uh, of course, Six of Pentacles is any, uh, you know, work that you can think of regarding finance, right? Anything that you want is here. And uh, others of you, I do see negotiation here with the Six of Pentacles. You're saying, listen, I work really hard, you know. Stop giving me uh, breadcrumbs here, you know, or petty cash, right? Where's my big money, you're saying? So education, you have a nine of cups reverse, which is a ten of cups. Some of you are psychologists, psychiatry students. Others of you, you have that major, right? And others of you, you're thinking about doing the, such a course. Uh, a nine of cups reverse, by the way, is also your food section. That's interesting. It's in the education. Ah, okay, get it. For some of you, you don't like to eat alone, right? Even if you are single, this is this is your ritual. This is what you love, right? You li you like to eat with somebody, right? You like to cook together. You like to talk about the food, right? Then you eat it together. You know, you laugh, you talk, you watch on telly, you look at the sky. For some of you, you are literally into eating together, right? And then the education here is reversed with the Nine of Cups reversed because you'd rather have some people around you or, you know, a loved one, right? That you can eat with. Others of you, this is a fast thing, right? Because, you know, you need to do your stuff. Your person needs to do that stuff. Woman or man, doesn't matter. And then, uh, yeah, you know, you have some quality time regarding eating and that's it, right? Others of you, you are, of course, a chef, right? There's something new here that you are experiencing here. Maybe fusion kitchen or I don't know what you do here, okay? There's something new here. Others of you, you're combining some odd uh, uh, herbs, right, with something here, with drink or food. It's amazing, right? Amazing. Nine of cups reversed. Some of you, you work in the catering business. You want to do that. You're advised to do that also with the three ones. Bear with me. Mm. Anything that you have, a Capricorns, regarding what you want, you should do it. Bear with me. Why? Because you have the three of wands. By the way, if you want to have a birth chart reading based on success overall in your life or healing or chakras or uh, business, you can also buy one. It's below in the description box. If you already bought one, bear with me, okay? Let's see. Um... Finance, career, education, health. You have a seven of swords reversed here, uh, Capricorn. Some of you are recovering here. Others of you, you know that there's some kind of treatment needed here. Or maybe you're up for some treatment here. Seven of swords reversed. Whatever this is going on with your health, the seven of swords is reversed, okay? So you can trust somebody here. You can trust their judgment. You can trust their advice. This is either, you know, medical advice. This is spiritual advice. This is coaching advice. You can trust them. Seven of swords reversed. Somebody's not going to fool you, okay? Uh, the Seven of Swords reversed is also an Eight of Swords and a Six of Swords, right? So if you want peace regarding your health, but mentally you feel overloaded or you don't know what to do or where to go, ask yourself the right questions, everybody. And the right questions is always about you, not about anybody else. So if you're in a relationship, you always have headache, okay, because this person, right, is always treating you really bad. Then you start asking, why is this person doing this to me? What did I do wrong? <laughs> and why this? And why this person this? And why this person? Yeah, you get more of a headache, you know. I mean, you already get a headache. <laughs> I, I do this, right? So that's not the way to go, right? The seven of swords in your health reversed. 
Also, if you have relationship problems, be honest towards yourself. Ask the right questions about yourself, not about somebody else, about you. Because ultimately, if you're in a relationship, you have a headache, right? Because of a relationship that's not going well. This one is, by the way, in the upright. But if it's reversed, right? Yeah, you're also there, right? You also make decisions, everybody, to stay in the headache, right? I mean, it's really simple. So, Capricorns, there you go. Mm hmm. We got in love. You have a two of ones here. And it's like I said, it's linked up right here with food. So I already told you about that. If you're ready for new love, those who are ready, you're ready. Others of you, okay, this is a doctor or a nurse, or you're a doctor or a nurse. Some of you work in the medical field or you have an appointment, and bam, there is suddenly this doctor. Capricorn is next. Oh, yes, is it me? Am I the next one? Yes. Entrare. Enter the doctor's room. Okay, okay. Okay, you're here because you have health problems. Yeah, doctor, doctor. Oh, won't you help me, Dr. Beat? Doc, 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 Dr. Beat. Doctor, I've got this feeling deep inside of me, deep inside of me. Doctor, won't you help me, sugar? Because I need you here. Because I need you here. Doctor says, oh, yeah. Yeah, doctor, won't you tell me now what I need to do, what I need to do? Doctor says, but don't you know what to do? I just don't know. I don't know. Won't you help me, Dr. Beat? Doc, 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 doc Dr. Beat. And there, suddenly you're in a relationship with a doctor. And remember, everybody, at that time, it was Dr. Beat. But in this time, this doctor is, I'm bitty, beat it up. You know, right? <laughs> so some of you, everybody, yes, this is the doctor, the nurse, the psychologist, the psychiatrist. Think about Rich and Taylor, right? It's kind of a Rich and Taylor energy. So, yeah, you know. Providing, of course, that they're not going to, you know, replace Rich. I mean, whomever they ever repl replaced, right? Whomever ever took that decision to replace the Rich with the replacement Rich. I mean, suddenly, you know, people weren't watching anymore. Like, where is the Rich, right? Hello. Come on, everybody. Come on. So, everybody, the nurse, the doctor, okay, looks like you're going to fall in love here, okay, with somebody that is in the medical field or you work already in the medical field, yeah, and then you do other stuff, right? Oh, by the way, spiritually, look, hello. Okay, look, 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 spiritually, I did not even see that. Won't you help me, Dr. Beat? Dr. 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 Beat. Do you see that? It's in your spiritual section. These are the doctors and the nurses, the real ones, right? Because there are a lot of uh, so-called doctors and nurses on YouTube, right? It's quite interesting. They're so-called tarot readers and they are a nurse or a doctor. But you never hear them talking about anatomy or typical medical stuff. Isn't that strange? <laughs> Isn't that strange, everybody, right? It's like, wait a minute. I thought you were a doctor. I thought you were a nurse. When somebody's passionate about it, right, you will know, everybody. They will include it in their readings, okay? They will, right? Because, you know, this is how they roll every day, right? So somebody's lying. Somebody's not a nurse. They're not a doctor, right? Mm -mm. So, everybody, uh, for those who are, of course, you know, doctors, nurses, you're working with them. Of course, you're on the highest frequency. If you already work there, everybody, somebody's coming in here, okay? Yes. So then I have a six of cups reversed here in your sexuality. Sexuality? Are you doing some acrobatics? Are you hanging in the sky? Okay. What are you doing, everybody? You're hanging in the chandelier. Okay. Jesus Christ. Ooh, 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 ooh. Seven of cups, everybody. Yes, that is, uh, yeah, whatever you're doing. Looks like you're having fun. 
if you're, by the way, celibate, everybody, you're a little bit sick and tired of being celibate, right? You are. You, you're like with this King of Pentacles. You're like, wait a minute, I'm doing everything that I can do to be a secure, stable partner. Where is that secure, stable partner? Well, be patient. You might be saying, yeah, but I'm already six year patient, GDT. Yeah, what do you want me to do, everybody? I always tell you, right? <laughs> I am the daughter of a Brahmin priest. I'm just giving you the messages. Yes. God decides, right? God decides. So let's see, everybody, okay? When we look at uh, beauty, you have a five of swords and you have in the health a seven of swords. So there's something about surgery or some kind of treatment, okay? You will love that treatment, everybody. You will love that treatment. You will love it. Something is going to be totally recovered here. Like totally. With the fire of swords and the beauty. I don't know. Maybe it's a scar or I don't know. Maybe you want to uh, have blonde hair or pink hair, purple hair. I don't know. Something here is beautiful, okay? With the seven of swords and the five of swords. You can trust. You can trust these people. Or maybe it's going to do whatever for you beauty-wise and health-wise. Love it. What's interesting, I do have a nine of wands here, right? In your spirituality section. Ah, some of you, uh, you of course, right? And this could also be you, right? You are the spiritual practitioner or this is a spiritual healing, right? Right? Spiritual healing. Spiritual healing. That's all I need. Right? The three of wands. Let's get the bottom of the deck, everybody. The bottom of the deck. What's under the bottom of the deck? Shuffling. It's under the bottom of the deck for Capricorn. The ace of wands reversed. And the four. Jesus, look at all these wands, everybody. So some of you are going away for a weekend, weekend together. Others of you are going to sleep in somebody else's house, okay? Uh, listen, if this is the first time you're visiting somebody's house, okay, leave that house, okay? Uh, healthy. Don't break that house, okay? <laughs> this is when uh, what is it superwoman right was a superwoman i believe right that scene right when she's making love to her man i mean that whole wall is about to break right that whole bed is about to break so leave the house okay like it is in the original state stop breaking houses beds doors stairs whatever you do in the kitchen table stop breaking the house you're breaking everything here okay yeah <laughs> it reminds me of my bed, by the way. Jesus Christ, before I uh, I bought my customized uh, handmade bed, right? I had uh, these high, uh, how do you call that, everybody? You know, the, where the bed is on, right? These high, high things. Because I thought, you know, it's really good to have a high bed. It was so, so ridiculous, everybody, because, you know, if the bed is being used appropriately, right? You know, when we make love, right? You're going to use the bed appropriately, right? It's going to shift, right? It's going to shift in the whole room. When you get ready, right? When you're done, when Capricorns are done, the bed is totally in another area in your bedroom. This is how we make love, right? <laughs> am I right or am I right, everybody? Let me know in the chat. This is how we make love, right? Once the Capricorn is done, the bedroom is literally in another area, okay? In that bedroom, okay? Yeah, maybe even another room. I don't know how uh, how intense you are, everybody. But at least uh, the bed has shifted, uh, right? So mine, everybody, these things, right, these bad, uh, I would say, uh, uh, pawns or whatever you want to call them, right, these bad uh, wands that my bed was on, it broke, man, Jesus. It broke, okay? <laughs> so then I said to my brothers, listen, you know, I got I to gotta do something for my, for my bed. What do you mean? You know, well, why, why, why do you know? You know, you know. My brother said, oh, my God, GDT. I know you are a Capricorn Scorpio. Yeah, okay, but leave your house. Leave it as it is. Original, don't break stuff. I have the same here. Okay, you're breaking stuff here, everybody. Yes. Now, don't do that to your stuff. By the way, I changed these things, everybody, under the bed. Instead of these high ones, I now have the small ones, right? So, you know. Sexually, I, I only see good stuff here, everybody. The Ace of Wands reversed, the five of, uh, Four of Wands reversed is also a Five of Wands together, which is a Six of Wands ultimately, right? But it's also a Ten of Wands, everybody. So you're putting the work in something here because you also have a Nine of Wands here. Whatever, maybe you're building a house here. Others of you, you want to move. You just bought a new house. You're moving, you're moving in, you're moving out. 
issues will be resolved, okay, about a housing situation and also roommate situation, whatever that is, it will be solved because you have a three of ones here. Um, others of you, you like being single, right? You might have said, you know, I want to have a relationship, but loads of you are used to getting, uh, uh, being alone. You're used. You got used to that, uh, Capricorns. This is like, I like being alone. I don't have to take care of anybody. I can do whatever I want to do. Nobody's nagging at my head or saying, you need to do this, you need to do that. Everything is clean. My house is clean, clean, just like I like it. So you're coming home and uh, with the sensuality, king of pentacles, right? You're there, right? You're in your luxurious bath, your luxurious couch, right? You get yourself some coffee, tea, you put your feet up, right? Others of you, you're just relaxing, Netflixing here. You have these beautiful pillows, right? Beautiful curtains. I see you totally sitting here in this house. And then with the ace of ones, the four of ones, you're saying, nah, you know, I like this house, but I think I got to move. The house says, why? Why you got to move? It's just you. You already have 20 rooms. No, but you know. It's getting too small for me here, you're saying. <laughs> it's getting too small. Yeah. So it looks like you're moving, everybody. Others of you, you're so, you're so relaxed here, right? You're chilling. You're not even relaxing. You're chilling. Chilling. Chill, chill. Chal, chal. Chale, chale, chale. Chale, chale, chale. Bear with me. Mm. Chale, everybody. In Hindi, chale means let's go. Come on, let's go. Chale. Chale. Vámonos. Vámonos. Chale. Chale. So the three of wands is here. Let's see what this is because where are you going? Okay, there's peace. Okay. There's a lot of space for you to see where you, where you want to go, what you want to do. I see that loads of you have, uh, of course, right? I see some uh, mundane things, everybody. Uh, where well, you got your chores, you got your activities, you got your planning. And then when you come home, you're glad that you're home. Others of you, you 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 have ADHD. You have ADHD, you do. And I don't mean in the sense that you're too busy, you talk too much. I don't mean that. I mean you have ADHD because you don't like to be with people. You really don't like to be with people. So again, everybody, I'm not talking about you being busy or talking too much. You know, all the, uh, you know, typical uh, character traits, right, that they uh, link to ADHD. I'm talking about uh, you uh, just wanting to be alone. I'm also not talking about empath. I'm literally talking about ADHD. You'd rather be alone. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see. Knight of Cups is reversed. Hey, you want to go out for a drink? No, thank you. Why don't you want to go out for a drink with me? Yeah, because I'm busy. But you're not doing anything. Of course I'm doing. Uh, uh, <laughs> and somebody says, but you're just standing there. No, I'm not just standing here. You're saying, I have to monitor one wand and I have two wands behind me. And then I also got to make sure that this bird here is being released. Ah, that's quite intense, you're saying. And then this person says, I don't understand you. And this is, <laughs> yeah, exactly, you're saying. This is why I'm not going to have dinner or drink with you. Exactly that, right? So the Nine of Cups is like, uh, yeah, you know, say yes, say yes, say yes. And you say, no, 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 right? That's, you say yes, 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 yes. And you're still saying, no, 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 right? So for those who are doing really good on your own, you got accustomed, everybody, to the real life. And the real life, everybody, is not that you're codependent. The real life is that you coexist. This, by the way, is coexisting. This is not codependent. And coexisting also means, everybody, that when you are alone, that you are coexisting with others. You don't need to be default, by default, right? Be with a sexual partner. Coexisting also means that you're coexisting here with these wands, with this bird, Okay, with this feather, with whatever you're doing here, right? Yeah. Others of you, uh, Capricorns, you tried two times, right, to be in a relationship. Well, some of you, I see that you were literally two times married. Because you have the two of ones here and you have the three of ones here. Uh, I also have younger people coming towards you like, oh, you're so hot. You're like, yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, you just don't look like your age. You know, you look like you're 20. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, you know what? Let's go out for a date. No, I don't want to. But why don't you want to go out for a date? Because I don't want to. Others of you, I see you making some ornaments, okay, of uh, natural products. That could be anything, right? But you are uh, reusing uh, natural products. Let's see, the Knight of Cups here. Yeah? This person is, uh, you find them, you don't find them attractive, everybody, or it's just not this person, right? You're just way too uh, focused on this bird. Maybe you want a bird. Maybe you want a rooster. Maybe you are a rooster. Okay, rooster, everybody, in Dutch means a rooster. And rooster means um, grill. There could be something going on with your grill, with your teeth. Maybe you want a grill. Maybe you have a, a grill of all gold teeth. <laughs> Maybe you have all golden teeth in your mouth. Okay, grill. Others of you, you want a grill. Others of you, you're grilling some meat. Others of you, this is the grill of your car, right? You get your car uh, tuned or something like that and a grill. Others of you, I don't know, okay, whatever you can think about grill. I hope it's not gorilla or uh, guerrilla. Because that's not good, right? I hope you're not part of the guerrilla. Because then you're watching my tarot reading, right? While you're shooting somewhere in the forest. So I hope you're not, hope you're not part of the guerrilla, okay? Others of you, gorilla, okay? Okay, something with gorilla, okay? So yeah, you know, anything that you can think of, right? Let me get another one here with this Nine of Cups. Let's see. Whoa, now this person is in the Nine of Swords. Ik heb bijna alles geprobeerd, alles om je te vergeten. Ik lig als ze me vragen hoe het gaat. Ik lees wat boeken, kijk tv, maar daar verandert ook niets mee. Ik wil alleen mijn Capricorn en zeg nou ja, ja. Somebody says, why are you not saying yes? I cannot let you go. I just want to be with you. Please, please say yes. I don't see you saying yes here, everybody, okay? Yeah. So overall, everybody, I see you doing really good here. Let me get one for you for the three of wands, okay? For you. Oh, the two of wands just shifted. Two of pentacles reversed. That's you. You're the ace of pentacles, the biggest coin of the deck. You're the three of pentacles. So, uh, yeah, bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles. You're walking away from anything, right? That is, uh, yeah, it's just not giving you anything. Um, this is, of course, again, the petty cash, right? The petty cash. This is small, right? This is somebody who doesn't understand. They might even say to you, right, like, uh, why are you focusing on the petty cash? And you're saying, oh, you're such an idiot, you're saying to somebody, right? I mean, everybody who is an entrepreneur, a businessman, or a businesswoman knows, right, that all the petty cash together, right, all the nickels and dimes, right, that's a lot of money together, right? Somebody doesn't understand your work ethics. They don't understand what it means, everybody, to uh, to work. They don't understand what the value of money is. They really don't understand that. Maybe this is somebody who's way younger, right? This this is the, uh, you know, the um, the younger generation. Everybody thinks that every, everything is free. They all want to be an Instagram model. They all want to be, you know, an influencer, social media, right? They all think that if they buy a, a wig and the fake nails, right, if they talk like Kim Kardashian, right, that they have millions on their bank account. Everybody who's listening to them, everybody, or seeing them, right, they know. That is, of course, the biggest mockery out there, everybody. Nothing is for free in life, right? Nothing is for free in life. And they can literally not count. They cannot count everybody. Yes, because they might say, yeah, it's too small, it's too little, blah, 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 blah. But they cannot count. Yeah, this is wrong with the generation, everybody. Yes, they only want everything to be quickly, quickly done. doesn't work like that. This is why they invented shorts, right, Capricorns? Why are shorts invented? Why is TikTok invented? Their attention span, everybody, is like this. And have you seen videos? Uh, I saw some videos, not of tarot readers, of other people. I saw some videos that was quite interesting. You know what they do? They do this with the video. So the video is an hour long, right? You know what they do, everybody? They do something with the videos to keep the people engaged. 
So the short term people are still engaged in the long term videos. What is that about? Right? Those people don't are not watching because of your content. Those people are watching because they are addicted, everybody. Right? So I have, of course, right, the youngsters that are definitely not dealing with that energy, right? Yes, and I'm proud that they're on my channel, okay? Yes, the small and the humble, everybody, really important, right? Without that, everybody, yes, you will not understand what God really favors. God favors the small and the humble, right? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We are going to now look, everybody, at the person in your heart. Could be an ex. Some of you, maybe you don't want to hear it, okay? Others of you saying, yeah, I do want to hear it, you know? Yeah, some of you are saying, I want to hear what this fucker is doing. <laughs> I want to hear it, GDT. Let me hear it. Let me hear that song. Right? Let me hear it. Let me hear it now. So, let's see what we have for you, okay? At the end, everybody... Oh, we're going to tell you about a uh, new life. Yes, most likely he's going to be a doctor or a nurse or a lawyer, okay, or a judge. Yes, let's see. Here we go. Capricorns, this is for you if you have a person in your heart. Yes, if you are together right now, you're not together. And others of you, you're saying, yeah, let me know, GDT. Let me know how that fuck is doing. Okay, so that's the final, that's the final group that I have. <laughs> Let me know whether he's still busy with me or is he over me? Then fucker. Okay, Jesus. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody, do not forget to check out. Okay. Somebody's lying. You're lying to me. Capricorn is not out with me because you're lying to Cap. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. Oh, oh. return of the lie. Return of the cap. Return of the lie. Capricorn, I want you back. I'm not here. Libra, is that Libra lying here? Let's see. Check out in the video section, everybody. I did another Capricorn reading. By the way, all of you need to check it. What zodiac sign you are, okay? Because it's a highly spiritual reading. Go check it out. You're going to love it. Yeah. These are more mundane messages. Whoa, look, there is the. Do you see that? It's here again. Jesus. That's a Libra. Definitely busy with you, okay? Jesus. Libra. Okay, here we go. Give me messages of the person in Capricorn's heart, the person that's Capricorn with right now, the person that left Capricorn, the person that Capricorn left, or the person that Capricorn is not with anymore, but Capricorn is saying, let me know how that, how that woman, how the man is doing without me. Let me know, let me know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. This is how they feel for you. Why well, you're not my kismet, Moktu Dastani? I thought you thought the wheel would spin in my favor. You would be back, Capricorns. Where are you right now? Why are you not here, Capricorns? You must be with me, okay? Well, you're saying, I can't be with you. Because apparently this person did something to you. Others of you, if you are with somebody, then somebody wants to hear, okay, don't do it. Somebody wants you uh, to say, oh, I like you. I really like you. Shall we go to the next step? Don't do it, okay? This is a trap. Somebody's trying to trap you. Yes. Let them conquer you. Whomever this is, Capricorns, they need to conquer you. Because for some of you, they're playing a game here. Yeah. This is what they feel. They want you to say, uh, 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 you are my kismet mark to destiny. We belong together. Because we belong together. This person wants you to say, I can't sleep at night because you are on my mind. Bobby Womack's on the radio. This is exactly what you shouldn't do, okay? Maybe you haven't been shown feelings. Maybe you're not even ready for that. Maybe you know this. This person is feeling, okay, I need Capricorn to tell me. I am Capricorn's kismet mark to destiny. I am the one. I am the soulmate. I am the twin flame or whatever you want to call it, right? Let's see. They're hoping for the fool. 
Okay, this is Aquarius. This is uh, Sagittarius energy. Um, for some of you, everybody, you have not been speaking for a month, and others of you, you have not been speaking for a year. Migado. You will know, right? Others of you, Mikado, you will know. And others of you, this is like Migado Yere, right? This is like Lord of Mercy. This is what the Suriname people say. When they say Lord of Mercy, they say Migado, Migado, right? So uh, I have somebody here that wants to have a new beginning with you. That's the fool. This is what they hope. They're hoping for a new beginning and... Uh, if somebody says, I'm going to change, they're hoping that you're waiting for them. If this is a temporary break, they're hoping that you will wait for them. Um, I don't know, you know, a temporary break, everybody, is always, you know, when you're not with each other. So you give each other space, right? But what are you going to do in the space? There's always a risk, right, everybody, that when you give each other space, that the other one will be with somebody else. Most of the time, somebody says, okay, I want to have a break because they're overwhelmed by the relationship. And sometimes they're overwhelmed, everybody, because, you know, uh, they want to be with somebody else, right? But let's see. Let's see what we have here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's look on this side here. Let's see. I don't know if this, is, this is somebody who's trying to forget you. They still smell you. Look. They still smell you. Ik kan je niet laten gaan. Al zeg ik dat het over is. Alleen hier zonder jou. Ik kan het gewoon niet aan. Ik mis je armen om me heen. Nee, ik leef niet in een wereld zonder jou. I can't deal with it if you're not with me. I can't live in this world without you. I don't want to live in a world without you. So let's see what happened, okay, in the past between the two of you. If you are together, by the way, everybody, if somebody wants you to wait, be extra mindful, okay? Why does this person want you to wait? Listen, they're dealing with stuff at their work or with their family, right? Then it's normal that they need a breather, right? But others of you, this is something else, right? Yeah? Let's see. How they perceive the past. Oof, you were married to this person. There were intentions to get married or to live together, to get engaged. This person asked you to, to uh, you know, to, to marry them. You were engaged. Whew, this is, uh, are you seeing, by the way, Capricorns? I don't know who this is for you. Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus. This is three major arcanas. We just started with this person. You know this person. You do. You know this person. This is too significant to ignore. What's well, quite interesting here, okay? You had four lifetimes together. That's here in the God card. Four lifetimes. Not five. Four lifetimes together with the God card, past life. But in this lifetime, the goal was, everybody, as I explained in the previous video, in the live section on this YouTube channel. Let's see what else, how they perceive the relationship with you regarding the past. This person wanted to marry you, okay? Or you were married, 100%. If you're not together, they wanted to marry you. Voila, Ace of Pentacles, so done, hello. What went wrong here, uh, Capricorns? By the way, if you are together, okay, and this person has good reasons, trust me, this person is still uh, wanting to get married to you, okay? So let's say their father is ill or they're dealing with issues with their ex, okay, the children are not going good with school or whatever, Whatever, right? If it's not between the two of you, be patient with them, please. They have every, every, every awareness here, okay? Their awareness is with you. They have every awareness to make it work between the two of you. 
So. Others of you, I don't know, are you a widow or a widower? Because the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant, nobody's going to say no, everybody, nobody. This is money and this is spirituality. This is understanding the spiritual bond between each other. This is understanding who you were in a past lifetime. This is, you know, saying something and the other one already thought it. You know what I'm talking about. This is that energy. Come on. By the way, Capricorn energy is here, of course. Could be dealing with a beautiful Capricorn. This is literally okay. Look, I'm just going to show you. Look at the card. So I just need you to have a look at the cards, Capricorns. This is literally right when you. You're walking uh, down the aisle, right? This is how you say it, right? When you walk down the aisle, do you see that? And then in holy matrimony, look, you're going to be together. Are you seeing that? So this is literally, right? You're walking down the aisle, and when you go through there, there's the holy matrimony. Like, literally. So... This person's perspective is that you were definitely the one, okay? So if you are not together, I don't know. If you if you have a break here and there is a valid reason for it, let them be, please. Give them some space. Um, I do not have somebody here, okay, that uh, at this moment, at this point, is not aware of who you are. They are aware of who you are. They are more than aware of who you are. And what's interesting, everybody, is I told you, right? Look, I said to you, look, this is walking down the aisle right here. And then the Hierophant is there waiting, right? But if you look closely after, if you go through the, the gate, everybody, look, you see a mountain, right? Look. Do you see that? You see that here, look. You see that mountain, right? Now look. That same mountain that you see through through the uh, gate here, walking down the aisle, is the same mountain that this one is hanging. Are you seeing that? So... They're hoping, everybody, that they can walk down the aisle with you again. I'm gonna be iron like a lion in Sire. Rastafari, reggae, Bob, Bob Marley, Bobby, Robert, Roby, whatever, right? Um, let's see, everybody, okay, let's see. Capricorns. A Capricorns. Let's see. What is this person feeling right now and hope you feeling right now and hoping for you? Feeling? Nine of Pentacles reverse with a nine of pentacles in the upright. Hope. Ten of Wands. Somebody is hoping, everybody, that uh, you can give it another go. A Ten of Wands is carrying the burden, right? Talking things out, working things out, trying to uh, understand each other, right? I also get that for some of you, right? Because the God card showed up here, right? If you're not together, everybody, they broke a promise. They did. 
They broke a promise because the Knight of Pentacles is reversed. Look, this is you saying, I don't want the ring. I don't want the commitment. Look. I'm saying, nah, thanks. Don't want it. You used to say, right, that you want it, right? But now you're like, nah, thanks, I don't want it. So they did something here, right? And look, now they're looking sad at you, right? Looking sad, look, behind you. It's like, why won't you take my ring? Why don't you want my ring? Right? This is for those who are not together, okay? This is for those who are not together. So I have a ten of wands here. And the ten of wands is like, like stress also. Yes. Uh, others of you, I see that one of you earns more money than the other one, has more money. Uh, and I also see, uh, I don't know, I see somebody here shopping, okay? Maybe that's you. Somebody always sees you shopping. Maybe they don't have the money or uh, maybe they don't like shopping. Maybe you always want to go to the mall. You want to go somewhere. They don't want to go somewhere. They don't like that. Okay. Somebody's saying, again, you need new shoes. Again, Capricorns. Again, you need a new dress. Again. again. It's like every time they're looking literally on their watch, okay? Like, when is this over? They're literally praying to God, saying, God, you know, tell this woman, tell this man, enough clothes, enough goodies, enough food, enough is enough. And God says, yeah, you know, I don't know, you know, you're with, you're with Capricorn. Or this is, uh, you know, as uh, God saying to you, right, if you're together. Oh, this is what you used to do, right? There's an energy of shopping together, going out for dinner. Okay, others of you, uh, that's a deviation between the two of you. One of you earns more money than the other one. And one of you really likes to go out, out for dinner, to the cinema, going out to the uh, club, dancing. The other one's like, nah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So if you're with that person right now, for some of you, right, not for all of you, then this person is... Uh, Looking on the watch, literally, here, yeah, like, when is this over? I don't like it. Or they have to go somewhere with you, and they don't like it. They're like, I don't like to go to your mama. I don't like to go to your daddy. I don't like it. And then this person sits alone. You know how it goes, right? You go with your person. There's a family get-together or whatever, right? And then you don't feel included, or somebody doesn't feel included. This person doesn't feel included. They're like, yeah, you know, I'll just go with you to your grandma. I'm going to sit there in a the corner. I'm going to be quiet, you know? This is like uh, something like, uh, you know, uh, let me just do it for you. But they don't like it. Others of you, you or they, one of you is shopping like crazy, going to the mall, going to the cinema. The other one is like, well, really, do we really have to do that? Look at this, darling. Look at this. And then somebody goes fitting like 20 uh, dresses. Somebody's sitting here like, ah, oh, do I really have to see you fit 20 dresses? Can't you buy it online? I have the two, okay? This is how it was, or this is how it is now. You're together, everybody. Somebody thinks that something is too much, okay? This is also, you know, Sunday, we always have to go to your parents. We always have to go to church. Somebody doesn't like it. They like you, but they don't like the behavior. So, you know, uh, thank you for saying that, uh, Xena, Xena. This is beautiful, right? Because this is when you meet each other in the same energy, right? It's the best energy. So if one of you is always pushing, right? Yeah, then the other one is going to be uh, ignored and neglected and is going to be frustrated. So if you both like to do the same stuff, you know, then you're good to go. It's going to be like, you know, mandatory. Uh, pushy okay let's continue everybody this is for those for some of you are together or this is how it used to be everybody if you're not together this person is stressed because uh it's like uh, you know they have one one left for this relationship they're hoping that you also have one one left they're hoping that you're going to put the, the the ring on the you know on the finger again they're hoping that you're going to take the promise the commitment or something like that let's see what else do yeah eight of cups here Returned, and the Queen of Cups reversed. That's not you. Somebody returned it to a Queen of Cups. Somebody uh, cheated on you, Capricorns. They returned to somebody. And uh, it's reversed. They don't even love this person. Maybe they have a good time drinking with them, right? You know, they fell for it. They fell for temptation. Others of you, I don't know what this is. Okay, Queen of Cups and Eight of Cups reversed. That's not really any emotional thing here. It's definitely not God-given because for some of you, this is drinking. 
drinking, smoking, you know, F bodies, right? There is no holy matrimony like this one. So um, in the past, for some of you, they cheated on you or maybe you don't know, but they went back to somebody here, okay? They returned literally here to somebody here. They don't have feelings for them, everybody. Maybe they try to explore whether they have feelings. They don't have feelings. This is the past. Others of you, they try to work it out with you. You said, you know what? I can't do this. You are damaging my feelings. You are abusing my feelings, you said. And this is how they perceive the past right now as we speak. Maybe you don't know that they try to fix it with somebody else. They try to. It's reversed. It already happened. It is reversed. It's done. It's not working. And for some of you, your person is, uh, you know, a Capricorn, a Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, could be any zodiac sign. Others of you, they were dealing with a water sign. Yeah? So, Cassinia, there are other people watching, right? So if you're good to go, you're good to go. This is not your storyline, right? Not everybody is in a relationship. Some people are not in a relationship. Some people want to know how their ex is doing, right? Some people uh, are saying, uh, you know, we're having, we're having a struggles right now. Yeah? Pick whatever. Ever is resonating for all of you. Yes, beautiful, beautiful Capricorns, beautiful, beautiful cross watches. Let's see, okay. Uh, let's get a final message here regarding the feelings and hopes right now as we speak. The Knight of Swords, Jesus. Somebody really wants to talk to you. If you're not talking, you're not responding. If you block ghosts of them, they don't like it. And in the past, let's see. Ten of Pentacles, wow. Wow. For Cassinia, who is in the chat, or other people in a relationship, you're good to go. Then somebody's trying to attack your relationship, right, with the Knight of Swords. Just be mindful about that. This is somebody, okay, who might want to try to break the two of you up. Look, Knight of Swords, this is not healthy, okay? Or gets angry or whatever this is. If you're not together anymore, it looks like there was a fight, really simple. There was a fight or something like that. And uh, the Knight of Swords, they know they did something here, okay, which is not good. The Knight of Swords comes with uh, angry energy. Uh, even the horse is afraid, look. And if you look closely, everybody, the shield, look, is a heart. You see? So now we have a Ten of Pentacles here. Ooh, whomever made the decision, right? And it's your reading, Capricorn, so I'm going to focus on you, right? It looks like this person made a really... Uh, Dumb decision, right? They made a really dumb decision. Because the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Hierophant, who's going to throw that away? Sorry, but only dumb people. I have no other, have no other explanation, everybody. And you know what's interesting, everybody? I love this. I love this. I love this. Remember what we said in the other reading, the spiritual one about the eclipse, etc., right? Remember what I said to you about the Ten of Pentacles? I talked about the perimeters, right? About the closeness, right? Did I not say that? In this depiction, look. This person is alone. There is the old person, right? There's a child here. But where is the woman, everybody? Look. A man's house is his wife. Or a woman's house is her husband. Look, there is no woman. Regardless of gender, you catch my drift, right? You see? Interesting. So, uh, yeah. There you go, everybody. Let's see what they want, need, and desire with you, okay? What is it that they want, need, and desire with you, Capricorns? What is it that they want, need, and desire with you? There you go. This is what they want, this is what they need, and this is what they desire. They desire love, but look again, everybody, look. <laughs> Interesting. I told you that, right? Did I not tell you that in the other reading? The Garden of Eden, what are they doing now? They're reaching out. There is no gap. They're reaching out. Literally, they're reaching out. Do you see that? And the Two of Pentacles, uh, what they need is you. You are the Two of Pentacles. And what they want is the Ace of Cups reversed, which is the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You see? By the way, I see that there is some whipping and spanking in the chat. <laughs> 
I love this family. I always love it, okay, that you always have a good time, okay, in the chat, okay. Always good. Bamba clat. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy the chat okay i love it everybody okay let me continue so now we have virgo gemini aquarius libra pisces cancer scorpio capricorn and we have gemini here right so this is what they want need and desire okay they desire also by the way i just want to make love to you love to you Ooh, capricorn love to you let's see what is it that they say to the friends and family what are they saying to their friends and family let's see okay we have the eight of pentacles that they want to put the work in this relationship with you that they want to reconcile with you three of cups and that they want to reconcile with you temperance pisces cancer scorpio virgo and sagittarius energy um I have somebody that understands everybody. The uh, I have somebody that understands the relationship. I wanted to say something else, but <laughs> let, let me not say that. Okay, let me not say that. <laughs> that is too much. That is way too much. Okay, that would be too much. Let me not say that. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have? Let's see. What is it? Uh, what is it that uh, the biggest fear is when it comes to the two of you? What is the biggest fear? What is the biggest fear? <laughs> what are you doing in the chat? <laughs> oh, I love you. Okay, look at you. What are you doing there? <laughs> Hey, listen, everybody, we got to be serious. Everybody in the whole world, they think we're serious, right? Come on, stop laughing so much in the chat. We got to be serious. What is that deepest fear? What is that deepest fear when it comes to you? What is there? <laughs> deepest fear. <laughs> DJ Old School. Listen, DJ Old School, all the run is taken now. Eh? So DJ Old School, it's either you or Brian, okay? Or maybe it's Let Me Be Frank or Danny, okay? Or, or King, right? Any of you, you got to deal with all these women. <laughs> oh, let's continue. Let's continue, everybody. Okay, let's see. What is their worst fear when it comes to you? What is their worst fear? You, three of pentacles, five of cups, and judgment is here. Wow. That you will reject them, that you don't want to reconcile that you won't, uh, you know, uh, unblock them, that you will never talk to them again. Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn energy. What is it that they want to say to you? What is it? What is it that they want to say to you? <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> did you also say, Brian left me? <laughs> Danny, come on. Yes, before you know it, DJ Old School is going to burn out. Help him out. Help him out, okay, with all these ladies here. <laughs> oh, I love you, okay? Yes. You're whipping, right? You're whipping there. Jesus in the chat. And no one does it like you. Oh, no one, ladies. Make DJ Old School and the man feel like you do. <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. Huh? Brian is there. Brian is there. <laughs> Whipping. No, okay. Let's continue. Yeah. What is it that this person wants to say to you? The double reversed. The nine of wands reversed. Oh, Jesus. And the five of pentacles reversed. They cheated on you. For some of you, this person cheated on you. They did. This is what they want to say to you. Uh, this person also wants to say to you that, um, yeah, I don't know, okay, maybe this person never talked to you again. You know why, everybody? Because they got an SCD. They got an SCD. The devil refers to the Knight of Wands, refers five of pentacles. 
Um, others of you, I don't know, did you say something mean to this person? Did you? Some of you said something mean to this person, okay? They can't get it up anymore. What did you say? Huh? <laughs> What did you do? Huh? Let's see. Yeah, look, you did something to them, according to them. So for some of you, they can't get it up anymore, okay? Queen of Pentacles reversed. That's you. Um, yeah. What do you want me to tell you, everybody? The devil reversed, the knight of wands reversed is, uh, you know, it's like, uh, it's like spaghetti, everybody. Yes, it's spaghetti. It's like a piece of spaghetti. You made a piece of spaghetti out of this person instead of a beef bus. So, what did I say? Shall we do it on request of Andrada? Yeah, I'm going to push. I'm going to push right now, okay? Listen, they can't get it up anymore. Let's see what this is about. How was the sex? <laughs> so good we named it. I told you. I cannot make this up, everybody. Thank you, Andrada. Thank you for the message. <laughs> what did GDT just say to you? What did GDT just say to you? I cannot make this up. They cannot get it up anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, Andrada. <laughs> Have you noticed how connected I am to Andrada? Huh? I'm really connected to you, okay? I think she is my assistant pimp now. Andrada, you are my assistant pimp, okay? Every time when there is something spiritual to be added, okay? With E.T. or I don't know, okay. We also have those cards, by the way. Where are those cards? I think you want them too, right? The confrontational cards. Where are they? I have to see everybody, okay? Because, you know, my family, right? My friends. GDT, can you do a reading for me? They don't even ask me. How are you, baby girl? No, do a reading for me, please. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. Oh, I got them. I thought maybe they were upstairs. Yeah, look. Confrontational cards. Say stop. Yes, Andrada is officially my assistant pimp. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Listen, nobody is laughing like our family, okay? You see it in the chat, you know. There's so many people who want to have, you know, all the joy, but they don't have that, everybody. We have it in the chat. We even have words that nobody uses, only us, right? Yes. Assistant pimp. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, say stop, everybody. I'm going to tell you something about this uh, non-performing defect stick. Beef bus or pussy wagon. Let's see. Oh, stop. There we go. Here we go. Let's see. This person says... Every scar is your story. I dream about you, Capricorn. <laughs> okay, another one. You distract me, Capricorn. Why does this hurt linger so long? Pain. Final one. I want to make love to you. Embrace our endless story, Capricorn. And I just want to make love to you, love to you. You're like, yeah, but you can't get it up, man, right? You can't get it up, right? So let's continue, everybody. This is what they want to say to you, okay? Yes, ever since you're not together, ever since you don't talk anymore, ever since they cheated on you, yeah, they can't get it up anymore. So uh, let's see, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. What is it that uh, that they have regrets of? What is it that they have some regrets of? What is it that they have some regrets of? Well, 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 look in the beginning. This is what they feel. And this is what they regret. 
They regret not showing you, telling you how they feel. They regret everybody that they did not take the opportunity of Kismet Mak to destiny. They regret everybody that they lied to you. The Wheel of Fortune is honesty. It has nothing to do with luck. This is honesty. They lie to you. They lie to you. So this is what they regret the most, okay? There's a Queen of Wands coming out here reversed. Somebody else, King or Queen of Wands. Others of you, this is a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. No? Yeah, look, Jesus. I wanted to pick this one, right? I'm going to take it in a moment. Look. Seven of Swords. And there's a Ten of Cups. Two want to come out. There's something with yogurt, justice reversed, and the four of swords. This is literally sleeping in somebody else's bed while being married to you, being committed to you, being promised to you, right? Sleeping in somebody else's bed. Who that? Right? Who that? And the seven of swords is literally walking to another family. So, yeah, they regret it. Okay, good. What else do you want to know, everybody? You're in the chat. You can always ask me questions. If you are in the chat, everybody, you ask me questions and I will tell you what it's about. Let me know. <laughs> no getting it up. Also, no yogurt. Uh, there is no cream. No cream. No yogurt. No yo. Gurt, gurt, gurt. There's no gurt. <laughs> what are the next moves? We're going to do that in the end, darling, Molidia. The action I'm going to do in the end. Is there anything else that you want to ask? Let me know right now. Is he or she in a relationship now? Let's see. Is he or she in a relationship now? That's from my assistant pimp. Let's see. No, the emperor is reversed. The four of wands is reversed. And that is reversed, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Why can't he get it up? <laughs> Somebody is asking that. Well, let's see. You know, anatomically, right? It has to do with depression, right? It has to do with the blood uh, supply, of course, right? It also has to do if somebody is a fat, right? A very fat, fat, fat person, right? Then the fat, everybody, below the belly, right? It will eat away the beef bars. That's anatomically, right? For those who are doctors and nurses, you know what I'm talking about, right? But let's see why. Let's ask it why. Because of the Five of Pentacles. Why can't this person get it up? It's the same Five of Pentacles here. Bam. And what is the Five of Pentacles, everybody? When you don't take care of your uh, precious, you know, my precious one, my precious, my precious, my precious. You don't take care of it. Yeah, you know, it's going to fall apart, you know. Any else? Any Anything else? Anything else? Ask me, everybody, before I go to the final question, what is their action? Let me know. Hey, Varushka. Let me know. Old school, bro, because he's fine and an old soul. Huh? <laughs> now I'm lost. <laughs> oh, it's spiritually guided. I thought you locked up all around <laughs> All crazy in the chat, okay. <laughs> what is this? Are you gonna do a brother hops thing? A brother hops? You're into brother hops? Are you gonna be like a Dutch woman having three husbands in your house? <laughs> oh. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, everybody, I need to, uh, what are the true intentions? Thank you, Melidia. Melidia is the only one who's serious and Jesus Christ, 
Hey, and Andrada, you're not a good assistant pimp, okay? You're not a good assistant pimp. You need to make sure that everybody is managed in the chat, Andrada. You are an assistant pimp, right? Jesus Christ. You know, everybody, why, why did I select Andrada as the assistant pimp? Does anybody know? Hey, listen, everybody. I selected Andrada as assistant pimp. Before you know, she's going to send Dracula to me. I, I ain't going to do that. We don't want that. No. Oh. This is why I made Andra the assistant pimp. Before others are wondering, why am I not the assistant pimp? Well, you know, you don't have Dracula on your side, okay? Don't want Dracula over here, yeah? Just so you know, okay? Jesus. huh? Bye, Amber. Bye, darling. Good to have you here, okay? Good to have you. Bye, darling. So, now, let's see. Yeah, you better hush, Slim Slim. Brian is saying the assistant pimp has no control over us wild goats. <laughs> Be careful. Before you know it, she sends Dracula and his family to you, okay? It's over. It's done. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, I love this. Thank you, Bolivia. Will they reach out and will they be serious? Here we go. They will reach out, six of ones. Will they be serious? They will be that serious. Suddenly it's working. Well, well, well. They will reach out and suddenly they're saying, look what I have for you here. It's working again. Yeah, you're saying it's because of me. Right? Jesus Christ. Okay. And what are their true intentions? Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, darling. Okay. What are their true intentions? Let's see. True intentions. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> Page of Cups. <laughs> Settle down in the chat, okay? Oh my goodness. Page of Cups is here. And the Hierophant is reversed. This is sorry. Yeah, look, sorry. Two of Wands reversed, the Hierophant reversed. Sorry. Maybe there's something about a kid involved here, okay? Maybe they send messages right to somebody else. Yeah, this is somebody else. Whatever this is. It doesn't have to be cheating, right? It could be anything. Maybe, you know, they um, they chose a job, everybody, over you, right? They had to go for a job overseas or something like that. Said, sorry, you got to break up this relationship. Ain't going to work. I'm choosing this job. I'm not choosing you. So um, their true intentions is that they uh, they know now, okay, with the Page of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Swords even reverse. They know. They know. Five of Wands reverse. They know. Okay. Uh, let's see. Whatever else we have here, I'm going to do that right now. But, you know, I hope Melidia is still there. Melidia, help me out, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to shut down this reading. <laughs> oh, Melidia is saying they better. Is he bisexual or is it the drugs? <laughs> is he bisexual or is it the drugs? Tell me. I don't think you need the drugs to be bisexual, right? You either are or you're not. But let's see. I'm just going to ask everybody that wants to know whether your person is bisexual. Is your person bisexual? Ooh. Now, let me have a good look here. I do have somebody here with the Knight of Cups right reversed who cannot control themselves. So, nah, I don't have somebody being bisexual here. The Page of Wands is also reversed. So, um, tell me if you're dealing with a masculine person, they don't like the stick, okay? If that's what you mean. Okay? Somebody is not uh, bisexual here, okay? I do have somebody, you know, that drinks or does what, okay, and then they get all uh, soft, you know, before you know it, you have somebody uh, doing it in your house, right? Because I have the four of wands here with the temperance. So in this case, I don't have it here. I'm going to give you final messages, everybody, because you in the chat. <laughs> and then I'm going to stop it, okay? Final messages, final messages. One, two three okay what is it that this person wants to tell to you one two three okay bottom of the deck five of wands they just don't want the drama anymore they want to reconcile okay the reconciliation is the most important thing uh the, the king of pentacles reverse is also somebody who wasn't ready for a relationship or they were already with somebody or they were not over somebody others of you you know player you know all these people right absolutely no direction and proud, right? Yeah, you know, I slept with this one, I slept with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
And then they are 60, 70 years old. Yeah, you know, you can't say that anymore. I slept with this one, I slept with that one. Then it's this person's funeral, right? Yeah, you know, this person is known because they slept with this one, they slept with that one. So this is how you want to be memorized. Memorize is the right word, memorize. Maybe this person pl plays a lot of memory or maybe this person has just, you know, lost their memory. Ah, could be right. Maybe this is Alzheimer. I don't know. I have no idea. Memory or melody. Yeah. In memoriam. In memoriam. Ooh, that's not good. In memoriam is Latin, everybody. It means that somebody's gone, done, over, right? We. Oui. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is your reading, okay? Why he can't get it up down is because of five of pentacles, okay? Yes. It's really simple, everybody. When somebody cannot get it up, there is physically uh, a, dis uh, a destruction, everybody, or there is a um, uh, diminished, I should say diminished, uh, supply of blood. That thing only goes up, everybody, because of blood. So... In order to have the supply there, you know, go all running, right? It needs to be activated. How is it activated, everybody? When a man is literally, you know, into somebody. So you can be with other people, but if you're not into them, everybody, it doesn't arouse them. So it looks like you are the arousal. You are the you are there for Yagra. Okay, you are there for Yagra. Yeah, uh, Andrada, listen. I don't know, you know, what you want to do with Dracula. <laughs> But don't send them here, okay? Listen, ah, listen. <laughs> I made you assistant pimp. The rest of the things in the chat, I don't mingle, uh, you know. I don't, uh, as we say, I don't bumoy. We don't bumoy. Okay, everybody. Um, let me do a final thing for you, okay? Shall we do a final thing? I'm looking which cards I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm going to use these ones. Um... Blessings and warnings, yeah? Choose, everybody, number 1 until 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah? Okay? Choose number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> what are you doing in the chat, everybody? <laughs> oh, I love you, okay? Yes, I am so proud of this family. Nobody laughs like us, right? Nobody, right? So let's continue. Here we go. Here we go. Capricorns. Oh, 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 Jesus. There's one falling out. I tried to pick it up, but I couldn't pick it up because all of you have a blessing that's here. You want to see the blessing? You want to see the blessing? The ring, the commitment. Now, this is a commitment either towards yourself and because of that, a commitment with somebody else coming in, okay? Yes? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, London G. Hey, 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 girl. Baby girl. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here we go. By the way, uh, Andrada, you just brought me to uh, uh, a confirmation, okay, of a theory that I was trying to test. But that's beautiful what you're saying right now. Yeah, you don't know what I mean. Well, maybe you do. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give you all the blessings and warnings, okay? Okay, here we go. Number one. Ooh, the snake is here. Number two. The community is here. Number three. The ring is reversed. Number four, the house is in the upright. Five, the car is reversed. Uh, six, the Garden of Eden is reversed. Eight, the spare is here. Nine, the three masks are here, three faces. Uh, sorry, that was eight. Uh, nine, bad health is reversed. Ten, the moon is reversed. Eleven, the lovers is reversed. And twelve, the king of cups is reversed. The house is reversed. Okay. Here we go, everybody. Get your journals. If you haven't bought your journals yet, make sure that you buy them. Yes, you can scan the first QR code on screen, everybody. And you can also um, 
go to amazon.com right and search for goddess dragon tower all of you everybody the blessing voila marriage is here but marriage is reversed so let me start with all of you okay <clears throat> yeah yeah listen everybody i have somebody here okay that you're not with you're done this person definitely cheated on you this is for all of you okay this person is going to come back from the dead. Why? Because they are not over you. This is reversed. Occupation and uh, they did not put the work in the relationship. So that's for all of you, okay? If you chose number four, and if you chose number 12, there's something going on regarding a housing situation. Now, number four is blessing, 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 blessing. Whatever this is regarding your house, yes, regarding your family, regarding your home, regarding your roots, regarding your uh, decoration, interior decoration, whether it's the architecture behind it, whether you are the architect, blessing, 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 blessing. The house, number four, you're all good to go, yeah? But if you chose number 12, there's something going on. A split or breakup, divorce. You don't feel at home. There's something with a roommate. Maybe there's something with your landlord going on. Maybe you want to move, okay? Maybe you haven't found the house yet, okay? The message is pushed through because you're going to get it. The only thing that is here is that there are some challenges. Do not put your emotions in this, okay? Be rational. Stay rational with number 12, yeah? By the way, for some of you, number 4 and number 12, of course, right, Aries is uh, included here. You're dealing with an Aries or you have Aries in your chart. Your Aries energy is important then, okay? Really important, everybody, yeah? Um, if you chose number 11, um, there's something going on here with the lovers reversed. There is a friend here, okay? That's no good for you. If you broke the contract uh, with somebody here, friend or lover, you made the right decision. It's your blessing because the lovers reversed, everybody. There is no intimacy. There is no respect. That's the blessing. Others of you, you're going to do it, yes? The lovers is also a decision. You might feel guilty or you might feel uh, that you shouldn't have done it, but you did You did good. You did not do wrong. Others of you, there is new aspiration coming in. New aspiration. If you want aspiration, make sure that you, you know, uh, check the, uh, do, do your research on uh, ancient, right? Asian gods and goddesses, cultures, religions, okay? You get your aspiration there, yeah? <clears throat> if you chose everybody, uh, so we did number four, we did number 12, we did number 11. If you chose number uh, nine, everybody, uh, yeah, there is a recovery here. Something's going to get better. It's reversed. Whoever is sick, whoever is going to get sick, this is going to get better. Unless, of course, it's a, you know, a fatal, right, a illness. You know what I'm talking about. But I have recovery here, okay? Um, also with number nine, if you feel that you're not doing well, pause, take a moment to recover, please. Because otherwise you will get ill or it will get worse. Take the moment to relax, okay? That's number nine. Um, number seven, there's something going on here about despair. There might be a reorganization going on at your job, okay? Um, it might be that you get fired also because of reorganization. Don't worry, everybody. The despair always comes with a solution. The solution is, everybody, if you know that something is already not good regarding your, uh, your work or your profession, then take the adequate action. Start already finding something new, okay? Yes? There is a solution here with number seven, but you must not stay in this situation. If you stay here, nothing's going to happen, right? Solutions, resolutions, resolving something, everybody asks uh, action. Nothing is miraculously, okay? Miraculously just going to, you know, uh, in 24-7 uh, overnight happen. You need to do something. You need to act. Do that with number seven, if that's your scenario. Others of you, be mindful, okay? Uh, somebody is trying to get you fired. Yeah, if somebody else gets fired, stay out of it. Do not, do not interfere, okay? Uh, Chef's deck is saying, I have this deck. Darling, I have two decks. Okay, this is a combined of two decks. And darling, it used to be uh, twice as high, but somebody in my house stole it. I think I know who it is. I know who that uh, girl is. She stole it out of my house. But, you know, it says a lot about people, right, why they do those things. Bear with me. I'll take a sip of my coffee. Okay. And, by the way, it's okay. She can steal it. I have enough, right? <clears throat> steal it. Take it. Whatever. I forgive her, right? We all forgive her, right? 
Um, there's another energy here, okay? If you chose number one, this is the Naga. You are protected. This Nagash, Jewish Naga Sanskrit. You are protected. Okay, the Queen of Wands, everybody, is Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. This is also the Golden Apple, okay? This is protecting your Golden Apples. For those who are doing well here, you're, you're going to do more, better, okay? More and better, and everything is going to increase. This is blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings, okay? Um, put your ambition, passion, drive in it and show your teeth when you need to. But uh, do not use your poison, yeah? Don't, don't do it, especially if you are a Chinese astrology sign snake. By the way, there's a, a snake Chinese astrology sign coming in your life. You're going to like this person. You're going to be highly attracted to that person. It's a good one, okay? Chinese astrology sign snake. Number two, community. If you're on social media, you want everything to go up, it will. Right? You do know, right, that... Uh, our channels, everybody that we have, our YouTube channels, are not about subscribes and likes up, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There's so much more in life, right? So the community is on your side. It will go naturally. Okay. Whatever you want is here. If you want to start a community or your own channel, do it because it's in the upright here. Yes. There's also a community that is thankful. They're thankful for you. Thankful for what you have done. Thankful for what you are about to do. There's a whole community here. Okay. That feels uh, loved by you. Okay. If you want a new community, spiritual, hockey, tennis, workout, whatever, you're going to find it, okay? Good energy here with number two. Number three, Ace of Wands is reversed. Aries energy, um, for some of you, uh, the Ace of Wands is reversed because this is a, a split or break of divorce. Others of you, there is no ring. Others of you, you're going to lose your ring or you lost your ring, right? Um, you're going to find it back, everybody. Um, You're going to find this ring back after the eclipse. Whatever this is, number three. After the eclipse, you're going to find it back. Others of you, this is a broken relationship. You're in the middle of it right now. I don't know whether you want a, a solution. Maybe it's a split or break of divorce formalizing. Others of you, you still want to be with this person. This is not the time to push then, everybody, okay? Ace of Wands is Aries energy. Don't push everybody. Aries has no ocean, everybody. There are no feelings on uh, on, Mar on Mars, everybody. So this is not the time to do that. Yes, let it be if you can. And then you will see that things will turn around. Um, if you chose number five, somebody's returning here. Cancerian energy is important. Somebody is definitely 100 million percent returning. If you chose number six, everybody, uh, something needs to be changed or repaired, replaced or recovered. And you need to be attentive you need to be be mindful about this and be attentive also about the energy in you and around you really important okay if you're not doing this everybody you could literally contaminate something or this is about your mindset somebody could try to play with your mind be mindful okay about number six uh number eight everybody is somebody that uh, is going to give you an opportunity you can have all the opportunities that you want but be careful there is mist in the gate you're not going to see where you're going. And there are three faces here. So before you take this offer, make sure that you do a good analysis. Once you have done the analysis, everybody, then you will understand what the fog is about, the mist. Otherwise, you do not know. You have no direction. Right? So this is really important, okay, if you're saying, yeah, that's me. There you go. Right? Let's see. What else do I have here? I have number 10. The moon is reversed. The more reversed, everybody, you will see that in part one, right? It's also an eight of uh, cups reversed. This is love spell. Somebody's doing a love spell on you. Somebody here believes, okay, that, uh, you know, that if they do a love spell on you, that you will return, right? So this is spells, black magic, burning dragon blood, incense sticks, fudu hoodoo, right? Influencing free will. So if you chose number nine, and maybe you already knew it, others of you, you don't. Somebody's doing black magic on you. Love spouse. So maybe you are feeling, okay, that you want to go back, okay? Maybe you're feeling that uh, you are interested, that you still love this person. Maybe you miss this person intensely. You're like, what is going on? Well, there you go. Love spell is being done on you. Um, by the way, if you are not sleeping, everybody, 
uh, or you wake up at three, four o'clock, I told you, right? If you already bought a birth chart reading, any birth chart reading, any time, my assistants and I, we will put you on a list and generic secrets, I will give you access to that video, but only if you, within six years, bought a uh, birth chart reading. And why am I saying that, everybody? Because those who have bought a birth chart reading, right? You will, of course, not copycat and uh, distribute that energy. Why? Because, you know, you paid, right? So, I mean, people who pay for that stuff, right? They don't do that stuff, right? So this is why I'm doing that, everybody, to avoid any potential risk, right? Because there are so many people also listening, right, with uh, not so good intentions, right? Beautiful Capricorns. So meaning, everybody, that I will make a separate video about that and I will give you access to that video, yeah? And for all generic stuff, okay, that are secrets, uh, secretive, everybody, you do not have to pay for that if you already bought a birth chart reading. You get access to the generic stuff. If it's based on your birth chart reading, right, for instance, about your chakras, about healing, about business, if you want to know all those secrets, right, then buy yourself those uh, birth chart reading below in the description box. And if you want to have a full birth chart reading, so you even get predictions of all your life. It's below in the description box. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, Taz. Hey, hey, darling. Let's see, okay. These are your messages, Capricorns. Yeah. I thought let me do this one too because uh, the other one is quite spiritual, right? So now you have this one too. And, uh, yeah, I have to go now. Tomorrow I will definitely do uh, Leo and Sagittarius. I will do that tomorrow, okay? Yeah? Uh, yes, Brian, I know that you're you're definitely on the list, okay? Oh, New Love. Thank you, Star Anne. Where is she? Hey, gorgeous. Let's do New Love too, okay? Let's. Do, oh, by the way, <gasps> Capricorns. Oh, my God. I haven't even done the most important thing for you. Huh? Come on, we got to do that too, right? Oi, yo, 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 yo. I will do that now and then laugh. Yeah? Are we going to do an auction again, everybody? Do you want to have an auction? <laughs> Let's first get you some money, okay? Here we go. Money, 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 money. Let's get you some money. Capricorns, let's give it a good stir here, right? Let's get all this gold here on the table, right? Look at this gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's the jealousy already regarding your money. Are you seeing that five of wands? Could be a Leo. Others of you are Leo and your child, right? Let's do some money messages first. Hey, V. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. Let's put it back. Money, please. Money for the Capricorns. And also, of course, um, laugh. New laugh, right? Oh, Jesus. Look at this. You can decide. Is there anybody who says, take them? I will take them. Otherwise, I put them back. First message I see. Should I take them? Take, okay. I will take them right now. Here we go. Number one, the five of pentacles. Number two, the two of pentacles. Number three, the nine of swords. Number of four, the king of pentacles. Number five, the nine of pentacles. Number six, the six of swords. And number seven, by the way, they match so good with my nails, right? I mean, look. <laughs> I, can, I can even make a TikTok video. Look. They do this, right, with the makeup, right? They do tech, 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 tech. <laughs> look, this is your final number. Bam. Three of cups. Three of cups, everybody, okay? <laughs> they do that right in those tiktok videos <laughs> oh, oh here's some more nails and yes for those who are new to the channel these are real nails yes real 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 okay 
Let's see, Capricorns, what do we have here for you? We start with the Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. This is doubt. This is juggling. This is wanting more. This is also stressing, okay? But then suddenly, look, you're here. Calm, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, King of Pentacles. So if you're saying, I'm doing good, I don't know what this is, and this is somebody else who's not doing good. If you're saying, GDT, I'm here, then you got to go there, Capricorns. You are the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so you need to be here. If you have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, double Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart, use that energy. Yes, if you have Gemini in your chart, Capricorn, uh, Taurus in your chart, and you're on this side, everybody, then you are not understanding the possibilities that you have in front of you. And the possibilities are this. Taurus is the economy. It's bulls and bears, stock shares and options. Maybe you made a wrong decision. You lost some money. Forget about it. You got to move this way. You can't do anything. You can't change anymore. There's nothing to be changed here. So what do you do, everybody? Five of pentacles closed. Two of pentacles closed. Nine of swords closed. And you focus on this. This is all about planning, strategizing. This is about knowing details. This is about doing your research. This is making sure that you have a short-term, mid-term, long-term plan. I always sell uh, those uh, journals too, right? You can check the QR code. Yes? I sell them too. At the back of every journal, there's an instruction, everybody. So execute then your short-term, mid-term, long-term plans. And this is how you get your nine of pentacles. How do you get these nine of pentacles? Because these are all little nickels and dimes that come together ultimately. And we Capricorns, we pick up our nickels and dimes, right? Because we know everything together, everybody, is huge money. And this is not living in La La Land. This is real life. This is why we are successful, right? As an employee, as a manager, as a CEO, CTO, CFO, and others of you, you own your own business, right? Like many years, like GDT, right? Maybe you're also a corporate boss. I don't know. Here you have the calm waters, three of cups is celebrating. Focus on this energy. There's a lot of money here, okay? King of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles means that you are ruling. You are literally ruling with your energy the manifolding of what you want, not what other people want. Because a Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, I mean, you can be in this energy. That's no issue, right, to be in this energy, but there's not a lot in here. There's not a lot in here, right? The Five of Pentacles is an energy of mud. You're in quicksand. You can't move. The King of Pentacles don't do quicksand. You can move. Why? Because you have a very secure foundation. The King of Pentacles always comes in as a huge figure, right? It means that the foundation needs to be strong. The foundation is Capricorn. The infrastructure, the house, it's all important, of course, right? But if you don't have a strong foundation, which is real Capricorn energy, the foundation, foundation no good, bam, house gone, infrastructure gone, relationship gone, children gone, education gone, work gone, the basis, the foundation, that is Capricorn. That's the real structure. The foundation. You can build a castle, everybody, on quicksand. You can build a castle in the, in the clouds. It will disappear. There is no foundation. So this is your money message. Yeah, now let's go to uh, love, everybody. New love. For those who want new love. Let me take the uh, planets, everybody. Yes, going to get you some planets here. Let's get you some planets. Oh, my cleaner has uh, put everything so tightly together. I can barely pick it up. Okay, I got it. New laugh for those who want new laugh. You want new laugh, everybody. You can pick me with three numbers. One, two, three. One, two, and three. A one, a two, and a three. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, and three. Here we go. One, two, and three. Oh, Jesus. They all look a little bit, uh, I don't know, you know. Uh, yeah. They look a little bit shadowy. So the first one is Capricorn. The second is Virgo. And the third one is Scorpio. Scorpio. 
This is how you will meet them. Really simple, everybody. They're all in the upright. They're all coming in true. Um, this is not a energy of where will you meet them, blah, blah, blah. This new love, everybody, is a spiritual energy, as you can see. Let me line them up for you, then you can see what I mean. Look, this is all spiritual energy. One, two, and three. Three is definitely past life, time. Two is, um, you've been through a very hard period, right? That's the shadow that you see. And suddenly this new person comes in with the light. Do you see that? Total different person than your ex. And three is your ancestors. Look, working with their ancestors to bring them to you. So, yeah. Uh, really simple message, everybody, okay? Really simple message. This is it. Capricorns, we're done with your reading. Yes, I have to go. I hope you love this reading. Keep sharing, liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. When you do that, it's better for me to get into your energy, okay? And if you want to have your birth chart reading, everybody, 250 euros is full. Anything that you want regarding uh, predictions, okay? If you want specific birth chart readings for healing, how to heal, then you buy that one. If you want specific reading for chakras, how to work with your chakras, the secrets of chakras, the secret of healing, then you buy that one. If you want a specific one, everybody, regarding the secret of doing your business, what are the secrets of your business, right? Doing business, creating, setting up a business, enhancing your business, you buy that one. You check below in the description box. And if you want your all life predictions, you buy the 250 euros. But the other ones, specifics, those are separately, there are 150 euros. Yeah? I have to go, Capricorns. I want to thank you for being here. Yes. Uh, I think this is good also for those who needed their mundane messages. Yeah. And uh, I put everything in one reading, everybody. So you have everything together. Yeah. I freaking love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for also having a good time in the chat. Okay. I love that about you. I hope you had a good time, everybody, because this is why I'm here, right? Making sure that all of you have a good time and that next to the advice, right? And the spiritual things that we do, right? That you also laugh a lot, right? Because this is what we really do. Real laughs, real laughter right? And a real family. Thank you for being here, okay, in the chat. And anything that you want to add, leave it in the comments. Yes? I love you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.